trending news. Don't begin a war you cannot win. Our nation, Ndibu, tells federal governments. Following the increasing rates of bandits and insurgency in the country and the rise of ethnic militias, Wanese Ndibu, the Appeal Igbo Social Cultural Organization, has advised the federal government not to embark on unwinnable war, but learn from the events of the past and seek for peaceful solution. This was contained in the statement of Prof. George Obiozo, the President General of Wanese Ndibu, who spoke during a press conference organized by the group in Enugu yesterday. Prof. Obiozo made it clear that there is nothing like no man's land in evil land. Why warning those encroaching on evil land to stop as they are provoking the gods and the people? He warned the federal government to have a rethink and act facts fast on the security crisis engulfing the nation before the prophecy of late Chinyo Ebechi, sorry, Chinyo Achebi, renowned Nigerian writer in his book, Nigeria. There was a country comes to fulfillment. Prof. Obiozo was weakened by the fact that the dream of Nigeria unity is fast eroding due to the violence and security lapses in the country. This, he has said, that had, has given rise to ethnic consciousness, which is very dangerous. He, however, beckoned on the federal government to learn from history and shave the idea of using war to keep the country together, but rather find ways to restore peace in the land. Personally, I stand with Ones Indigo on this issue as we all can no longer continue wallowing in deception. The truth is that we are fed, fed up with the wanton killing of innocent Nigerians by blood-tasted bandits and insurgents. We can't keep folding our hands and watch ourselves decimated while we have all it takes to protect ourselves from this. The federal government holds Nigerian minimum security because they have our ban mandate. It is our right to live and be protected by the state. Since the federal government is not living up to its responsibility, the citizens ought not to get blame to pick up arms. Nigeria's condition has gone out of hands, and if nothing is done to salvage the situation, darkness surely will definitely take over. However, we pray that we all come together as one and fight against terrorism and we shall prevail. What is the take on Oanese Indigo's warning to the federal government? Thank you for listening to this news. Wow, the Oanese Indigo have said it all, and that is true. Let's not begin a war that we cannot finish. Oanese Indigo is trying to tell the federal government to please, whatsoever that these agitators are asking for should be granted to them. Because if they refuse to grant all this, the agitators have decided, they have made up their mind that they will never be any going back. Yes, that is why Oanese is giving this advice to the federal government to do according to what they asked from the federal government. Yes. Yes. So, hope is what we need. Let's us, um, let the federal government, let them akin to our to the cry of the agitators. For those struggling for the Afro Republic and for those struggling for Yoruba nation. People's anger is that their pain looks like it's no longer holding waters in Nigeria anymore. Yes, people that they are beginning to die of 
high blood pressure. On top of this, on top of this issue that's going on in this country that the federal government has not even made any provisions or, or have any solutions for this because there's nothing these people can do. That's why it's giving them this high blood pressure. The federal government that should tackle this issue and don't do anything about it. You can imagine. The people are dealing with uh, 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 smarter, they are dealing with a smarter and haters in a thousand times over. You can imagine. I've said this many times before, and I'll keep saying it again. Anyone who says that bad things is good will have evil stationed at his or home doorstep until the best thing depart this country, depart from this world. Why? Why are they threatening us? Why are they not protecting, uh, uh, protecting us as they promised? Why are they making life miserable for the, for us? Do we think that the North can defeat the South in any battle? Do you think they can, they can never do that? They can never succeed? Yes, they can never defeat the South because the South have made up their minds. So why can't the federal government release and give them that which they need to survive? If it is fight they want, let them fight. Let them fight once and for all. They are not afraid of the federal government. They are not afraid of the federal government. You can imagine. People die once. If they want, if they want to fight or they die for what they believe or what they, they, they die for protecting the lives of, of, of the citizens or protecting their lives and the lives of their family, let them let it be. But they know that they, they will have it in mind that they fought for a good cause. Yes. So I think the federal government should do something about it. According to what the Indonesian Nibu said, he said that they should not begin what they cannot finish. They should not begin a war they cannot finish. They start war and they should not even make any attempt to want to, want to finish this war. Because they should not even try to start any war. Because if they start, <laughs> I don't know what this country will become or what will happen to, this, to, to, to the citizens in this country. I don't know what will become of Nigeria. You can imagine. Prof. Obiozo was weakened by the fact that the dream of Nigerian unity is fast eroding due to this violence and security lapses in this country. He said that, it, he, that he had given rise to ethnic consciousness, which it's very dangerous. And that is it. It's very much right. It beckoned on the federal government to learn from history and shave the idea of using war to keep the country together. Let them find a way to restore peace in this land. And that is what they need. You can imagine. The federal government must therefore learn a lesson from history. They should learn. They should not start what they cannot finish. They should learn a lesson from history by not fighting an unwinnable war against nationalism. We let them seek possible peaceful options that are, the, that, that are the only solutions that guarantees the national unity and peaceful coexistence in this country. Let's not embark on unwinnable war. Because if we do, then we'll suffer for it. So viewers, you have heard it all from Obiozo. The new, um, the new head, the new leader of Oaneze, Indigo, the Apex Evil Social Cultural Organization. Your comment concerning this news is very much important. Thank you.